I think it's going to be humbling because we people want to dominate everything and control everything, but we can't control the waves. So, in a way, the waves control us, and we can only try to go with the flow. So it's a good change of dynamics. In our Western imagination, it feels distant, almost unreal. The boat is there, in the arborous pontoon of Ushuaia, the city of the end of the world. So iconic. A place that had witnessed countless expeditions. Every year, during the astral summer, sailors gather there, passionate about polar regions. They converge on this specific spot. United by a single love, ice. So we're going to the part of Antarctica we ha where we have more wildlife. Okay. It uh, feels, it looks uh, it, it like another planet. It's like when you see a movie about another planet, it's exactly the same. There's like it's super cold, it's super, there's nothing, there's no, it's just ice, rocks and wildlife. This year, we have the honor of standing alongside them, surrounded by legendary sailboat from the polar region. Here we are, since this morning, setting our course even farther south toward the only continent on Earth that belongs to no one, Antarctica. We just left Ushuaia, it's already quite cold. Everyone is a bit excited. Here we go. It's time, it's now, it's happening. And then, uh, then we enter the drink. Yes, now we're heading to the bigger channel. It's very strange. I don't know the last time that I uh, left off to go to a place that I didn't know, like at all. Like I couldn't even imagine. It's like I'm going on a, like I feel like Alice in Wonderland or so, I'm going down the slide. The main sail is set. Our cap is heading to the Antarctic Peninsula. On board, the contrast is striking. Different, intriguing profiles. The crew is made up of scientists, activists, sailors from all across the globe. We will learn to get to know each other, to live together in the days ahead. It's not every day that you see such a young crew embarking for such a hostile region. We have already passed Puerto Williams. It's time to just contour this new island, Isla Nueva. There was also a lot of wildlife uh, all the time, uh, many birds, uh, many mammals, sea lions and uh, um, dolphins, cormorants. Je vois. Le Our mission is to meet another scientific vessel already operating in the area. And there are the pole. On board, a team of some of the best divers in the world are studying animal marine forest. They will remain for a full three months on the peninsula, going hundreds of meters deep, trying to discover new ones. We're bringing them oxygen, fuel, science objects, and a chocolate refill. You draw a whale? Uh, what? You draw a whale? No, no um, the caper, capard. What's your? The back. Uh, you did not. Okay, the Cape Horn is like an island. Oh. It's the southernmost uh, island in the South America. Mm. But the scientific mission started already the very moment we left the arbor. We are already collecting data on temperature, salinity, and CO2 level of the ocean for a German research team, the Wagner Institute. Our goal for this mission is not only to be part of the scientific community trying to understand better the most remote place on the hearse, but to do everything we can with you to protect it. But before reaching it, we must cross an ocean with a fearsome reputation, the Drake Passage. This is where the strongest winds of the planet converge, along with powerful currents and a sea that is often violent. Touching wood, but so far it's perfect. It's not the worst sea. Easy sea, and then I cut two <laughs> giant waves. And so far, we're really lucky. As chill Drake message. Yeah. We're lucky. <laughs> and see you on the other side. <laughs>